Hey guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial with GIMP. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a pop-up image using GIMP. So this is basically a man coming out of out of phone, mobile phone, and he is having some glow around his face. So to get started, I'm going to open up my image, go to File, Open Recent. Here we have our flat light foot photo, and that's going to open up. And the first thing we're going to right click add alpha channel we're going to get rid of the screen of the mobile phone to do that one of the easy ways is to use the pads tool click on the corner right there if you have a screen which is rounded on the corners just make it curve after you create the path right another point right there another point right over here and to zoom in and out i'm just holding control and scrolling up and down the mouse wheel all right now hold control close this up press enter and if you're using mac you, you could go to edit clear but since i'm using windows i can just press delete and that's going to give us the checkerboard which means this is a png image if you want you could just save this as a template and use this as use this in your other images and I'm just gonna pause for a moment and I'm gonna bring in the image of the man and as you can see we have our man imported to GIMP so the first thing we, we have as you can see we have some selections going around the mobile phone to get rid of that go to select none and we're gonna take our move tool. all right and now we're going to take the unified transform shift T and scale this up oops I'm going to try and move this somewhere about here and I'm going to bring the flat light photo to the top and bring the opacity down somewhere about there to get a better view on what we're, what we're going to be working with right somewhere about here and the thumbnail I have placed that on top right there so you're gonna bring that on top unified transform oops wrong layer scale that right up there take the move tool that right over here bring this to the top all right now that's looking pretty good I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna lock this layer so it don't move anywhere all right right over here and we're gonna get rid of the outline real quick by using the pads tool I'm gonna place that somewhere over here And it's all up to your personal preference. You could use any size or any image. It's all up to you. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's the one I'm looking for. So we're gonna go to the mobile layer. And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna turn off the visibility of that just for now. I'm gonna take the pads too and start cutting out these edges and I'm just going to speed this part up and as you can see we have got a rough selection of the subject now I'm going to go through and close this by holding control and closing that up we're going to turn off the visibility of that and we're going to take this node and move that around and just like Ink's case we have our handles coming out when we move our path oops do this right over here and trying to make every lines parallel to each other so it's going to look smooth and have a nice smooth transition somehow 
like that. Um, somewhere over here. Hold control to add a new point and bring that up. Bring this down. Bring this down. And I'm just going to speed this part as well. And as you can see, we have finished cutting out these portions. I have took some time and cut out these edges. And I have also turned the visibility of the mobile layer off just can, so I can see a, I can have a better view of the subject. Now I'm, I'm just going to turn off, turn on the visibility of that and press enter to finalize that. Oops, I'm going to go click on here. I'm gonna press enter to get a selection and go to edit clear if you're using on Mac if you're on Windows just press delete and that's gonna delete everything and now just bring your opacity all the way up and oops we're gonna go to select none and as you can see we have finished popping out the subject from the mobile phone if you notice we have some leftovers right here but I'm not gonna go ahead and fix that since I'm just giving you a general idea on creating this effect with GIMP and now what's left is to actually create the neon lights going around his face so to do that we could take our pads tool and I have set my color to a bright blue which is 2800FF I'm gonna create a point going around from his nose another point right here hold control close that up and as you can see we have got the triangle I'm looking for and I go to your tool options so I'm gonna create a new layer with transparency okay go to your tool options stroke path line width 10 pixels stroke and that's gonna give oops wrong color press X to swap your colors and go to stroke path stroke and that's gonna stroke that with white line and now come to your layers and duplicate that and right click alpha to selection or you could go there and change that to your background color now I'm gonna go to edit fill with background color I'm gonna filters blur Gaussian blur and I'm just gonna bring this somewhere over. or oops I'm gonna select none and give that a nice smooth blur we need to have the white lines coming right over here somewhere over there okay and we're gonna merge that down right click merge down I'm gonna turn off the visibility of that I'm gonna create a new layer above the mobile layer new layer I'm gonna swap these colors make that black it's okay new layer foreground color press ok bring the visibility opacity somewhere 6970 and take your razor tool and I'm going to use the softest brush in the brush menu and make that a big brush use some blotches around his face and his hoodie some more somewhere about there go to your layers I'm going to turn on the visibility of that 
we're gonna come to the new layer we just created which is the black layer or actually I'm gonna create a new layer with transparency press OK I'm gonna give some actually I'm gonna right click on this alpha to selection and go to select inward and come to the new layer we just created I think that's this layer all right that's the layer give that a nice big blue blotch right over there on his face uh, face and on his chest and change the mode to overlay and that should give a blue tint around his face and neck and go to select none come back to your layer maybe turn up the opacity somewhere about to 88 or if you want you could go to 96 that's gonna look not that nice somewhere 90 90 80 somewhere about that size percentage and that's pretty much how you can go about creating a mobile pop-up pop effect using GIP. If you have any questions, let me know. If you liked it, leave a like for new daily content. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the new content I post daily. And as always, stay creative and stay healthy. Till next time, thanks for watching.